Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem union of two sorted arrays. The problem says that we will be given two arrays and we have to do what? We have to return a list which will consist of all the common and distinct elements in both the arrays. So let's look at the sample example. Suppose that in the first array we have got elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in the second array we have got the elements 1, 2, 3, then 6, 7. So you can see that the elements 1, 2, 3 are common. Okay. Then 4 is present in the first array only. So we'll take 4. 5 is present in the first array only. So we'll also take 5 in the union because in union we will take all the elements and we will not allow any duplicacy. So since 1, 2, 3 were same in both the arrays, but we have to consider for only one array, right? So what will happen is we will consider 1, 2, 3 first of all because if the elements are common in both the arrays then we have to take only one occurrence. Then after that if you will see so 4 is occurring in the first array only so we will include it then after that 5 is occurring in the first array only so we will include it then 6 is there and then 7 is there so we will have 6 and 7. So how can we solve this kind of problem? So the very basic approach is map because if suppose that I have the first array and in the first array the elements are 1, 2, 3 and suppose 5 and then 7. Let's take this example. Let's say this is the first array A. Suppose that the second array B is what? Let's take the second array B as 1, 2, 3 and then let's say 8. Now what I can do is I can take help of map. What will happen is I can iterate through the first array and then I can increase the frequency of all the elements. So I'll iterate in the map and the first element is 1. So I'll increase the frequency of 1 to 1 okay then after that the second element is 2 so I'll increase the frequency of 2 to 1 then after that the third element is 3 so I'll update the frequency of 3 as 1 then the next element is what the next element is 5 in the first array so I'll update 5's frequency as 1 then the next element uh, is what 7 so I'll update the frequency of 7 as 1 then after that once the iteration of the first array is over I'll iterate on the second array now when I'm iterating on the second array, so 1 is already present. So whatever is the frequency of 1 in the map, I will increase its frequency by 1. So what will happen? Uh, now the frequency of 1, 1 will be 2. Then after that 2 is already there, so 2's frequency will get updated to 2. Then 3 is already there, so 3's frequency will get updated to what? 2. Because in total it is present 2 times. Then after that 8 is there, 8 is coming for the first time. So what will happen? 8's frequency will get updated to 1 inside the map. Now if you will see, so I have to return the uh, union. So what can I do for that? So basically you can see here that I have got what? I have got uh, the element, uh, the first element as 1. So what I can do is now basically I can iterate through the keys of the map. So you can see here that here the key is 1, here the key is 2, 3, 5, 7 and then 8. So I can use what? I can use a normal ordered map which will help me to keep the keys of the map in sorted order. Key basically represents the elements and then I can iterate through the map and all the keys that are there that is 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 and then 8. They will get printed because I will only print the first part of the map that is the keys and that is how I will be returning a list that will be consisting of only the union elements. So let's try and code this approach up. So what we'll be doing here is uh, we will simply start with our declaration of map. So first of all, I'll declare a map, let's say int comma int, let's name it as MP. Then after this, what we will do here is, uh, we'll iterate to the first array, so I start from 0, then I is lesser than N, then I plus plus. After this, what we will do is, we'll increase the frequency of the first uh, array. So we will do map of ARR1 of I plus plus, okay. So first of all, I'm iterating through the first array and increasing the count for all the elements. Then after that what I'll do is I'll start uh, I starts from 0 I is lesser than n then what I will do is uh, sorry I is less than m because the second array is of m size then we will do i plus plus and after this inside the map we will uh, say that for the ith element we need to increase its frequency. Now once that is done so after this I need to declare a answer list so I'll declare vector int let's say answer and then what I will do is I'll iterate through the map. So let's say we will do auto i is to mp. So I will indicate what the ith uh, whenever I am at the ith uh, element of the map. So i dot first will represent me what uh, will give me the key. Okay. And i dot second will give me what i dot second will give me the number of times that element is present. And I want only the keys that is the elements which I want to store in the final answer. So we will do what we will say that uh, in the answer we can simply push back 
the i dot first here okay then after this what we will do is we will simply return our answer here right now uh, once this is done so let's try and compile this and uh, see if our code is working fine or not so you can see that uh, it is working fine on the samples uh, let us try and submit this code it should get accepted now So you can see that our code was able to pass all the test cases. I hope that you are clear with this problem. Please make sure to comment understood in the chat. Thank you for watching this video.